Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about tips for baby room and gonna show you guys my kids' room. And if this is your first time, don't forget to subscribe and let's get started. Let me show you guys my kids' room and then I'm gonna talk about the tips I would give to any expected mother or a new mom or a mother is like preparing her kids in her baby's room. And let me show you guys. So I chose the ocean. I did a uh, the whale oceany thing. This is a Xander. That's for my baby Xander. This is crib. That's the rocking chair. Oh, sorry. That's the dresser. I have a lot of stuff. That's my baby Jacob. Has on it the day his name and the way he was. And I have this little bookshelf and holds some toys in it. And this is the big bed for my Jacob. Oh, this is his name. A little bit of a stuff. That's his bed. And, and here's Jacob. He's jumping on his bed. Do you like your bed? Do you like your bed? Oh, I hope you sleep in it. Well, he wants to play with his brother, so he can go. Okay, as you can see, this is the the theme I picked was like I wanted a blue wall. I wanted to, to do a blue, and then I thought about it. I'm like, oh, you know, whale and like the ocean theme because the room is just blue. So my number one tip is to wait, 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 wait before you decorate your baby's room. Wait till like your baby's almost four months before you spend the time and the money. Uh, because like as you, your baby growing, you can see what's him or her into. Like the baby can, he can, sh can show you uh, like what's color, what's the, the thing, the toys that he likes to play with. And based on what he or she like, you can decorate that room. So my number one tip is to wait. Don't listen to anybody. A lot of people they'll ask you, "What's your nursery theme? Did you? Is it ready?" You don't have to. You don't have to. You don't have to. The main thing you would need probably a crib. That's what we do need. And then like everything comes like Jacob, no mama, no, hey. no mama. Are you guys done? Can I continue with my video, please? Can you guys be quiet for a second? Don't listen to anybody who's like rushing you or telling you, you gotta get the baby's room ready, you need a rocking chair, you need this and this. Don't, just kinda go with up. You think like me, I wait till like they're like four or six months and I change them to their crib. Then you just really need your best in that. And then when your baby's like four or six months, you can see what he's, he or she's interested in. And then you can build that room based on the theme that they like. <laughs> okay, so based on that, you can do, you can, uh, you can build, like decorate the room as what your baby likes. Um, to me, that's what number one thing. If I go back, I'll wait because like Jacob, he didn't <laughs> like the whale. He, he was scared of them. And he did not like the room. Maybe like if I waited and I knew he probably I would have decorated. He painted the room green, did it more of a jungly than a blue in a whale, like an ocean theme. So that number one tip. Number two is I don't think a rocking chair is necessary. Everybody tells you you need a rocking chair. I don't think it it's does anything. If you listen to me, I feel like you should invest in a bed in the room, better than a rocking chair. And you can check Amazon, they have really good deals and good stuff for their uh, for their furniture, for, especially for the baby room. So I bought a rocking chair based on other mom, they told me I needed it, but I don't think I used it. And probably now I'm gonna take it out of the room because it's gonna take and send away. And I never use it with Jacob or my second one, Xander. So I don't think it's necessary. Uh, number three, uh, the color. I feel if you go with a darker color or a witty, we'll grow with them. 
I don't feel like white is cute, but I don't think last because like my crepe is like kind of damaged, colored on, so I don't feel like you get up. If you go with like a little dark color, yeah, it's a light color for babies, but they grow. They don't like one year and they're out of it. I feel like this kind of color, the grayish color or like a witty color, I like that one. If I go back, I would have probably spent money on that because like the dresser's expensive and there's nothing wrong with it. As they grow, you could just use it. So that's my tip too. And <laughs> see, endure. I promise I'm doing this video and my husband he's out of town so I kind of stuck with both of them and so that's why I can't, I'm not like there in my way doing this video but it's mom's life that's how it is that's how our daily life is that's whatever we do they involved so why not they get involved in the video too okay so let's continue but Okay, so yeah, because like the stuff for the baby room is like they're expensive. A lot of things are expensive. Their bed sheets, the decorations, are expensive stuff. So before you spend that, know if your baby is gonna like it. Like he doesn't mind it. He doesn't mind the whale. Doesn't gonna. He likes it. But Jacob, he didn't like it. He, I took off those like stickers. You guys can see the whale ones. I took them off when Jacob was a baby because they would cry. He would get scared of them. He basically he thought there's something in his room. Uh, I took them down when Daniel was born. I put him back. He doesn't really care about them. He's like, and I like them. They're really cute. But if I go back in time, I would do it differently a little bit because it's not necessary to get your the room ready before your baby. And if, with your baby, you can see what they like. I don't have any much toys. I don't have toys in the room. I just have that little bookshelf and the toy like. That toys a little bit they have in it. I like it. Uh, I don't have, I don't like to have toys in there because like uh, it just becomes a big air of mess. I wanted to know they know this is a sleeping. It's for sleeping. It's not for playing and just like reading time and kind of being calm so they can slowly sleep. Uh, but it depends on your baby. If your baby sleeps, full will sleep anywhere, anytime. But my babies are not that little quick sleepers, so I have to really kind of force on them and like and and do the room more of like a sleeping environment um other things i would say um it if you invest into into some stuff like this like they're, they're like the baby's pictures and stuff and you can put it in their room that they can see it jacob loved this we got this book from the hospital um he loves it he'll always look into it before he goes to bedtime he likes to look his baby pictures put these in his in their room they will as they grow they will really appreciate it they will like it <laughs> he just took it from my hand and i stole Xander. i'm doing i'm working on his i kind of did it differently um i don't i am putting his pictures together soon so he can have his own book too in this room so like with jacob now he's three he loves looking at his pictures and seeing us and when he was a baby so i feel that that's really a cute thing to put in their room um invest some, invest some time and money in that it's like it's worth it uh, i think that's all this is what i think of and to paint the room i feel like that too you just kind of wait to see what color your baby is interested in yeah, I, I like the blue, and if I had a daughter, probably I would have went with pink, but that's not necessary. I feel like Jacob would have loved the green room with like a jungle theme when he was a baby. Uh, then he seems he likes it, he doesn't mind it, and, but from, the, like from kid to a kid, it's different, and I has really noticed it with my two boys, so yeah, this video could maybe be a disaster, but I promise I will do it, and I invite my kids, they're involved in my life and they always there with me and I'm a stay home mom so I'm always, they're always with me and I'm, I'm always with them and they're involved with every activity I do and everything so in this video, sorry about that, could be not as expected but they there and I hope you guys enjoyed it, I hope you guys these tips, I, I hope they're helpful and I, if I help one mother, that would be great. And if you guys like it, don't forget, if you like the video, don't forget to like it, subscribe and share me with your family and friends and tell the other mothers about my channel, like momhood. I post a lot about 
kids hey. fashion. Um, I like a lot about from mothers. I talk hey. about strollers. I talk about a lot of things. Whatever I think and whatever other mom they suggest I do, I do a video about. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys in the next video.